Hi, I'm Max Trulocker, and meet Sasha, the Stanford Carbon Nanotube Controlled Handshaking Robot, built by researchers here at Stanford University, led by Professor Subhashis Mitra and Professor Philip Wong, in collaboration with Professor George Geelan and researchers at KU Leuven. Sasha is controlled by circuits, fabricated completely using carbon nanotube transistors, and is the first complete subsystem built entirely using carbon nanotube fats. Now, let's take a look and see how these carbon nanotube transistor circuits are made. It all begins in this lab, where we grow our highly aligned carbon nanotubes on our quartz wafers. We put the bare quartz wafer into the furnace, and after several hours, get our grown carbon nanotubes. After growing the carbon nanotubes on the quartz substrate, we then transfer these carbon nanotubes onto a traditional silicon dioxide substrate using a low temperature transfer process. This renders the entire process silicon CMOS compatible. We now fabricate our final circuit on this wafer. To overcome the inherent imperfections of carbon nanotubes, such as metallic and mispositioned carbon nanotubes, we use the imperfection immune design paradigm, which overcomes these obstacles in a VLSI compatible manner. Thus, all design and fabrication is VLSI scalable. Here is the final product, the wafer filled with circuits made from carbon nanotube transistors. If we zoom in, we can see the individual dyes, individual circuits, individual transistors, and the CNTs themselves at 100,000 X magnification. We load the wafer into the probe station and hook it up to Sasha. The circuit that we've built is a capacitive sensor interface, which is basically a circuit which converts the value of a capacitive sensor into a digital output for a processor to read. Hidden in Sasha's hand is a switch which swaps in or out of the circuit a capacitor. The CNT circuit measures this change in capacitance by changing its digital output. The computer averages this output from the CNT circuit and based on the output from the CNT circuit, triggers Sasha to shake hands when it is grabbed. Now, let's watch Sasha make some new friends. With no hand on the switch, the average output is low, and Sasha doesn't move. But when we grab hands with Sasha, the average output jumps up, and Sasha shakes our hand. Here is Sasha in action. <laughs> 